have to be proud of the this thing off, hey. No, it's the same with Sorry. Korea. I mean, Sorry, Trump, boys. who would have expected a U.S. leader the, uh, meeting with Kim Jong-un? Well, no, best, best I can do. Uh, gray zone. I spelled, I always spell it G-R-E-Y, but it's G-R-A-Y zone, gray zone. Check him out if you want to know international kind of stuff. I, I, him, here's my beat. Okay, this is actually, uh, when I do my YouTube, this is actually chronicling stuff that I'm supposed to be doing in my existence. It's like my uh, um, verbal memoir, <laughs> you know, like that. But, uh, but my interest really is, because of several things, I have geopolitical interests, you know, I have interest in um, tangentially only because my research group in, in Dembaza have fin um, financial uh, economic interests. But I sort of been following economics since the late since the late seventies, I guess, um, like that. And of course, you know, I have uh, interest in Black America. You know, do it free us interests like that. Um, it's after six. Is it after six? It's something like that right now. And I got, I got this. Uh, as you may or may not know, my two favorite wines is like, well, in this order, Primitivo, which I can't get in South Africa, but I'm here in the States and I got that. So I had my, I had a good, great bottle of Primitivo, but also a Shiraz. So, so I was in the wine store. I said, look, I can't ignore Shiraz. So I'm looking at around Shiraz. And this guy, he, you know, when you go to a real wine store, you have real people that know wine, then you know, you could talk to them back and forth about whether you like that or that. He, he showed me this one Shiraz that had licorice in it. I'm not... I don't do licorice. I, 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 I don't do licorice. <laughs> Not even licorice tea, even though I have that. Um, but this one, I just kept it. Well, anyway, this is called uh, from, uh, what's it? Ringland? What the heck? What's the name? What, what, what? They got this fancy writing. It's part of, it's Australian. Um, uh, uh, anyway, it's made by uh, Chris, oh, Ringland. Ringland's name is Chris Ringland. It's made by Chris Ringland. I this must be guy that died a long time ago. Who knows? Now, this is from 2018. It's a um, it's called a Barossa Shiraz, like that. But the thing about it, it has chocolate in it. Talk about chocolate. Hey. Okay. Now, when you have real chocolate, this is like this is like 88 percent. I got one that's 92 over there. 88 percent. We have real chocolate. It's not like eating like your, your Mars bars or something like that. You know, you can't eat it like that. You you take a you take a piece of chocolate and it's so rich that you don't have to. You, you understand what I'm trying to say. Anyway, so anyway, so this wine has chocolate. I'm, I'm at the end of it. I've been chomping on it for the last uh, I say three days, whatever it is. So I'm pouring the last bit right now. I have right now as I speak at you. It's not going to be long. Well, maybe it will be long. But anyway, I was listening to the gray zone. You know, they're talking about uh, uh, the Horn of Africa. You know, up there where it's Remember, they're beating up on Yemen over in the other side, but you know you got you got you got Somalia, uh, Eritrea, uh, uh, I guess Ethiopia's in there someplace. You know, up there, up there, about uh, right below the Suez Canal. You know. Anyway, uh, when this thing happened with Afghanistan, I sounds like I'm joking, but I'm not joking. I said, "Oh boy, this is not good. Afghan war is like over for the United States. What they going to do now? Want to guess?" Africa. Hey, Africa. The people. They, they, they say the same thing with Carmen and Krumah. Somebody. Some. Um, uh, Mike Sarge just sent me a thing through Instagram about. I guess it was Carmen and Krumah. Somebody speaking at the UN a long time ago. Basically, everybody says the same thing. Africa. Africa is not poor. Okay. Forget that poor, starving Africans. Africa is not poor. Well, Africa is not poor. The leadership and a bunch of other things that put that 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 it's like it's like what they try to do to Cuba, what they try to do with all these countries. They try to destabilize. They make the they try to make the people poor, so the people revolt against their leadership. Which I guess they should revolt against this because leadership keeps on selling them out, right? <laughs> whatever, or they or whatever. Then that's what makes a country poor or whatever. Africa can grow its own food, everything like that. They keep the GMOs out. Blah blah blah. Now they got South Africa also, the, the Southern Africa. Well, Southern Africa's got a little spark there. They had to kill a few people recently. You know, I mean, Tanzania. There's some stuff happening in, in uh, Madagascar trying to get rid of that cat. You know, all these people start to speak up. I don't know what's going to happen with the Ghanaian uh, president. I don't know what's happening there. Uh, what's happening? What's happening with uh, Nigeria? 
Is that boy still sick or whatever the, the general they brought back? I don't know what's happening with that guy. Anyway, the point really is that except for South Africa with the economy and then, uh, and then you have the economy of, uh, of Nigeria, big economies, right? I'm not, going over the, I'm not going over to Angola or nothing like that or whatever it is. But, you know, because Sir Robert is, 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 is in their pocket, you know what I mean, like that, then they sort of got South Africa sort of sold up, you know what I mean? That's why all the stuff that you hear, that, or anytime you see South Africa do something, it's always whatever the West does, whatever the United States does, says, that's what they do. Why? Because, <laughs> okay. But here's the interesting thing, because now they got to go, they try, I guess, trying for the horn. Be, it is all over Africa. They, 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 used to try, they, they start raiding Africa. Even they even have that, that what they call a uh, soft imperialism, the soft power. And that's why they have that basketball league that the NBA is trying to start. I guess they are starting in, in, in Africa. And, and Barack Obama's the face of that, you know. So, so that the, they had everybody bouncing balls and not paying attention to the political things or the economic things. That's what it is, okay. But here's what's happened. In my okay, remember my brain. I keep on getting stuff from all over the place, and I I keep on listening. I mean, listen. I research, and sometimes I even look. I even it, okay. I shouldn't say this. Sometimes I even look at <laughs> academic papers. Okay, not a lot. I try to stay away from that, right? Anyway, so I get a lot of information all over the place. But here's my read right now, right? Especially since they got, since they got to get out of Af Afghanistan, they got to, and, and, and you know, the military and industrial people, they still got to make, they got to make weapons and, and make bombs and blow up places and, you know, destabilize countries. They, that's their job, you know what I mean? They do their job, you know? Um, and, and as you see, like, it, but what was NATO doing over in Afghanistan kind of thing? I thought that was North, Northern Europe or something like that. What do, what's NATO doing in Africa? What's NATO doing in South America and Central America? You know what I mean? So so that's one of their military arms. But here's the trick. The military has to run by, by well, I guess petrol. That's, that's one thing, right? But also the dollars, right? And American dollars, that is, I, within two years, American dollars is going to be like nothing. And uh, uh, those folks or us folks, whoever people that's into Bitcoin, that's the, going to be the new money, worldwide money. That, and remember, if you do Bitcoin, remember Bitcoin, you're your own sovereign. In other words, you're your own bank. Nobody, no country can do anything. That's why they're going to have all these, uh, the, the, what do you call those, uh, the Federal Reserve, they're going to make their own, trying to make their own coin so everybody can go there. Oh, we got digital coin, we got digital coin. No, that's not Bitcoin. Bitcoin is decentralized. If, if, if somebody can pull a plug on your coin, you're not a coin. Oh, it's your coin. You're like a Roman coin. <laughs> this is what it's like. Okay. So here's what here's what the Bitcoiners are doing. The Bitcoiners going like say, hey, this is like this, I don't say second coming, but this this is like all we gotta do is just keep on doing our Bitcoin thing. We ignore these people. They're in their own world, you know what I mean? And we just keep on going. Sooner or later when they come over to our side, they realize that, hey, there can't be no war. You 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 can't just you you can try to go to somebody's house and take their Bitcoin, but I don't know how that's going to work out for you, though. Know? Uh, China kicks Bit Bitcoin miners out. They just go to some other country. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like the Bitcoin is just sitting back and saying, hey, watching the world do whatever they do. That's fine. Everybody's in a panic about the COVID or whatever have you. All that stuff. Hey, you know, shooting shoot people up. We don't know what they how many booster shots you got to take. We don't know what's going to happen in the future with that. Bitcoin people are just sitting back and relaxing. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, you know, uh, the people, uh, I, I guess I shouldn't say that. I think that younger people, especially in Africa, they, they're getting all kinds of information. They know what's going on. They're getting more and more aware, more and more aware, more and more aware. I mean, they know that Gaddafi was, was uh, uh, wasn't, well, they didn't kill Gaddafi because no blah, blah, blah. They killed Gaddafi because Gaddafi was going to, to every, every single uh, traditional leader, every, every traditional leader, Every every leader in Africa say, "Hey, look, get on board with this. Get on board with this." It's like going through Afghanistan to every warlord and saying, "Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this." Which is, you see what I'm saying? So what I'm trying to say, it's very simple, right? Time for the West is over. Done. Stick a fork in them. They just don't know it, right? Monetary system is going to be gone. Um, you can't you can't run your little uh, uh, military adventures without without paying some mercenaries some money, but how are you going to pay them? How are you going to pay them? Where are you going to get your oil from or whatever have you? 
you know, gas pipelines are being built all through, you know, with Afghanistan going, you know, the China will, oh, we didn't even talk about China. Oh, my goodness, man. So the global, the global stuff is changing. Uh, us right, you righteous people, us righteous people who are on the thing. Just hang tight, you know, keep on, do, try to do right, you know, and forget about, remember, when you vote, it's not voting, you're just doing a poll, right? You can, I, I want you to get electorally, get involved. I mean, I believe in the political process. Uh, ADOS is an advocacy for political process, you know what I mean? You know? So, anyway, I'm trying to be short. Why? Because that's the way I feel today. Chocolate. Shiraz. Everything is hunky-dory. Things are going magnificently well for the downtrodden. Not for the people in front. They got plans. But their plans cannot beat the downside. There's too many of us. Us being, um, me being one of those us. Me being T from the Patterson State to Train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>